Hey guys, what's going on? Here we go. This is going to be video number three of a three part series, guys, on one through 15 how to close any customers, the 15 rules for negotiating. Check it out. Hey guys, here we go. This is gonna be part three of the three part series, all right? So if you're catching this video and you're like, what is this part three series? Watch this. I got a part one and a part two, one through five and six through 10. Go check them out. There's probably a link to them below on this or go to my YouTube channel and check it out if you haven't subscribed to us yet. And if you haven't, do it now. It's the best sales training content in the country. So this is gonna be video three of a three part series. We're gonna start out with number 11 through 15, the 15 rules to close any customer during negotiation. Number 11, use a full arsenal of closes. All right, let me give you an example, okay? On a payment close, on a payment close, my manager sends me out at a $700 payment to go close the customer. The customer wants to be at $450 a month. I need to bump the customer $250 for my product, for the value of the vehicle that I have. Watch this. How many ways do you know how to bump a customer on a payment? I know 27. 27 way to bump a customer on a payment. 27. Not two, not 10, but 27. Price is too high. Customer says, hey, Andy, I appreciate it, but I think the price is too high. Almost 30 ways to overcome, hey, Andy, the price is too high, and then boom, I can handle it. That means if I say something and they say, Andy, no, I appreciate it, I have an arsenal, an arsenal, an abundance of closes that I can continue to use. And I think that's extremely important for you to think about it right now. During negotiation, do you have a couple closes you use? Do you try to just wing it as the customer says no, or do you have an arsenal? of closes. Look guys, right now at this time, before we move on with the video, if you look down in the description box below, check it out. You see the description box on the YouTube channel? Go down, you'll see where it says description and it says Andy's courses, okay? Do you see elite negotiating course? It's very important right now that you look at that elite negotiating course. When you click on that, you can see there's a course in there. It's $299. It's so cheap you can wipe your butt with it. It'll show you how to close any customer on the first payment and how anytime somebody says no, you can get them to say yes and it teaches different strategies as you're going through the close so you will have an arsenal of closes. If you want to become great, guys, click on that link. Start training on immediately. It'll change your life. Guys, my YouTube content is like baby food. That's where the big daddy stuff comes in. You want to make 700 grand a year selling cars? It'll teach you how to do it. Let's move on. Okay, guys, number 12. It's going to be care so much that you refuse not to close. Let me explain to you what that means. Care so much. Look, guys, it's not an opportunity that I get to go close a customer. It's not an opportunity. It's my mission. All right, it's my mission. I care so much. Guys, it's a dissatisfaction to the customer to the customer, a dissatisfaction. Like I'm doing them wrong by not closing them. They came to the dealership, right, to do business with me so I could give them reasons and excuses why they should say yes. Guess what? If I don't do that, I'm doing them a disjustice. I want you to think about it. How high is your care level for your customers? If it's extremely high, then guess what? Care so much that you refuse, that you won't tolerate not closing them. When you feel that way, guess what? It changes the entire dynamics of the deal and the way that you'll work. Every time that I went in on close, it was 10 for 10, no matter what. Guys, I may have delusionally thought I closed 10 for 10 and it could have been 8 for 10, but every time I went in, it felt like 10 for 10 because it was my life. It was everything to me to make sure that every single customer I got got my full attention no matter what. And since I gave them that level of care, guess what it did? It allowed them to always close because I refused not to give up. Okay, guys, here we go. Number 13. It's going to be really simple. Always look for a solution. Everybody, write that down, solution. Listen, there is a solution on every deal. I assure you, there's always a solution. There is. The question is, are you finding it? All right? Are you an outside-the-box thinker, or do you think inside the box like the rest of the 99% of the world? Look, you got 99% of the world, okay? Then you got the true one percenters. I have a one percenter mind. Look, some of you, you're book smart. I'm street smart. You know what that means? Every time I know that a customer's in front of me, they came in, and they needed, and they wanted or they, they're here to buy something. There's no other reason why they would be at the car dealership. None. They didn't come in here to meet me, hang out with me, and become best friends. That's what's happening. But I can tell you this. They came in here because they needed a vehicle. Now that they're here with me, we found something, and I'm making a deal with them. It's my job. It's not my customer's job to tell me what
what I need to do. Most of them will tell you how to sell them if you'll listen, but it's your job to find a solution every time. Look, in the beginning, whenever I would miss a deal, I'd always think, what could have been the solution that could have kept that deal together? What could it have been? And every time the customer left, I always thought about it. So I decided to think, hey, you know what? As I'm working the deal, I need to think about it. Not after they leave, think about it now. So the bottom line is always find a solution. There's one there, it's your job to find it. Okay guys, here we go, number 14. It's gonna be always treat the customer like a buyer. You know what I commonly hear? I commonly hear customers telling the sales pros, telling the salespeople that I'm just here shopping. I'm not buying anything, I'm just looking, I'm just looking, I'm just looking, I'm just looking. And you know what they're doing? They're programming the salesperson. They're programming the salesperson to believe that they're not a buyer. That's a lie, that's a lie. They are a buyer, okay? Or you wouldn't have them in front of you. Black and white, it's that simple. There's no gray area here, okay? So I wanna explain this to you. It is your job as a sales pro, as a top sales pro, the trusted advisor, to speak to your client, your customer, like they are a buyer. They're here to buy and they're gonna buy. And never stop speaking to them like they're not a buyer. Never treat them like a shopper, always treat them like a buyer and they'll buy. Rule number 15, woo! This is my favorite one. You know what that is? Master closer. That's what it is. How do you become a master closer? It's easy. Clearly communicate. Clarity. Clearly communicate with your customers. Write this down. Do you know what a master closer is? It's a master communicator. There's three things that I want you to write down right now, okay? Write it down. Go with me. A master communicator is somebody who makes it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and makes it the customer's idea every single time. I want to explain this to you, okay? You've got an idea and you want to clearly communicate to your customer that this is what they need to do. If they feel like it's your recommendation of what they should do, they're not going to do it. Okay? They're not going to do it. Make them feel like it's their idea when you're communicating it to them and guess what they'll do? They'll want to do it. Learn how to be a master communicator. By the way, at this point, if you're like, Andy, how do I make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and make it my customer's idea every single time? How do I do it? Guys, it's in the Elite Negotiating course. Remember, click in the bottom down in the description box, Elite Negotiating course course, right? 20 videos showing you how to negotiate every single deal and close it every single time first pencil, right? Check it out. I'll teach you every strategy you need to know. If you want to know how to be a master communicator, it's all in there. This is a little baby food I've been teasing you with just to get you to be a better sales pro. Go make some more money, but get on the course. Let's make the big money and crush it, guys.